one of the things I do is write uh, books which uh, non-economists can understand, um, which have serious economic content but are written in a style that ordinary people can read. Um, I've done uh, three of these books in the past, The Bottom Billion, uh, which was about poverty, um, Wars, Guns and Votes, which was about the struggle for democracy in uh, low-income countries where there was a lot of violence, uh, and then The Plundered Planet, which was about managing natural resources and the environment. Um, I've been foolish enough uh, to take the hottest of hot potatoes, uh, the subject of migration from poor countries to rich, um, and, uh, and try to do with that um, the same that I've done with, with the other books. Um, why did I do it? Because it seems to me uh, this is a topic which is very important. Um, if you look at the citizens of uh, the developed countries, um, migration, immigration is pretty well top of the list of policy issues. Um, but policy itself, when you look at the actual policies adopted, is clearly in disarray, uh, to say the least. And I think the reason its policy is in such disarray is that serious discussion has been taboo, certainly in Britain, ever since an idiot right-wing politician about 40-something uh, years ago came out with a speech called rivers of, Predicting Rivers of Blood. Um, and after that speech, nobody dared go near the issue. Uh, and that taboo, which has run its course for 40 years, has meant that policy has never been seriously debated. Policy becomes the plaything of the tabloid press. Uh, and that's a disaster. Here you've got a really important set of policies which are not being discussed openly thought through. Um, so that's one motivation for writing this book. It's called Exodus, I should say. Um, but the other is I work on poor countries. And uh, the uh, exodus is indeed named exodus because what's happening from poor countries is a lot of people are leaving. And is that a good thing or a bad thing for the people left behind? Only a small minority of people leave. Um, what does that do for the people who stay behind? Um, so that's the subject. Um, can I give you all the answers? Well, if I did, you wouldn't buy the book. Um, uh, I can't give all the answers in a video, that's why I've written a book, um, because it actually turns out to be rather complicated. Um, but in essence, um, both the effects of migration on the host countries and the effects of migration on the countries uh, of origin um, depends not upon, you can't say, is this good or bad? The right answer is how much is best. Uh, essentially, some migration is good. It's better than no migration. But you can equally have too much migration. Too much both for the host countries and, more importantly from my point of view, too much for the countries of origin, the people left behind. And so, to my mind, um, migration policy, not only is it deeply dysfunctional, but it's been framed around the wrong question. Is migration good or bad? Whereas what we should be posing is how much migration is best. Um, and to understand why that's the right question and how to answer it, I'm afraid you'll have to read the book. <laughs>